we are at EuroPCR in Paris and uh, I have the pleasure to uh, discuss today with Nicolo Piazza from Montreal about a session we had uh, all about uh, TAVI. So I think we need to do a, a summary of this the session. So first of all, can you tell us um, what is the status of TAVI today? How many patients worldwide? What are the leading devices? Sure. So the all, all you need to know session was really a session where people could come to and have a broad overview of what transcatheter aortic valve implantation is about. Currently, there's about 200,000 procedures performed worldwide. And in the last several years, we've had a number of devices that have obtained CE mark approval. And uh, currently, what are the indications of TAVI? Because we have a lot of questions from patients, from cardiologists. Can we implant a, a TAVI in a patient who is suitable for surgery? Where are we right now? You know, this is a, a, a very complicated question because practice in Europe may be preceding guidelines and clinical evidence. Um, but nonetheless, right now the guidelines suggest that TAVI uh, be first-line therapy for those who are inoperable. Uh, but still candidates uh, for TAVI. And also we have to understand who is potentially futile in this category. Um, for those who are at high risk, uh, we have randomized trial data to suggest that perhaps TAVI can be a good alternative to surgery. Uh, but we do know that in clinical practice in Europe, we are treating intermediate risk patients with TAVI. And currently we don't have any randomized trials in this category of patients. And uh, we heard that uh, there, are, there are some randomized trials, uh, for instance, the Notion trial, um, that compared uh, TAVI versus surgery in all patients above the age of 70. But there was a small sample size, although we can say uh, encouraging to show that there was no difference in the two therapies. We had, uh, during this session, we could uh, also hear about the results of the new devices, in particular the Sapiens 3 device, which are really uh, very impressive results. Uh, can you summarize the main results of this uh, trial with, uh, conducted with the Sapiens 3 implantation in Europe and in the US? Sure, I, I think we got similar results in both Europe and the US with the Sapien 3. Uh, in general, we're seeing extremely low 30-day mortality rates. The mortality rates are hovering about 1 and 2%. Uh, we're seeing extremely low rates of uh, moderate to severe PVL, less than 5%. Uh, we're seeing uh, low rates of annular rupture and uh, other catastrophic events. So I think the improvements in the devices and also the improvements in patient selection and sizing of these valves uh, has led uh, to a dramatic reduction in the uh, clinical outcomes. Mm -hmm. And what would you say, what are the remaining issues today with uh, TAVI? Yeah, we heard that uh, there may be several uh, remaining issues uh, that are vexing the field of transcatheter aortic valve implantation. Some are more important than others. But some of that were highlighted were the uh, incidence of paravavular leaks, in particular the mild category. We know that we've brought down the moderate to severe category, like I said, down to 5% uh, or less. The mild category is still staying around 15 to 25%, depending on which device you're looking at. And there's some data to suggest that mild paravavular leak is associated with increased mortality. If this is the case, then we need to correct this problem. The other issues that were discussed were the issue of durability. And we're starting to get five-year data and six-year data. Uh, but of course, this is going to be an ongoing issue for the years to come. Um, and lastly, there was the issue of valve thrombosis and reduced leaflet uh, mobility, which for now remains a more of an imaging uh, finding, more than a clinical finding. Uh, but we are going to need to do more studies in that field as well. And uh, we have such uh, excellent results, as you said, with the generation of valve we know. Uh, what uh, can bring the new devices and, and what are the devices which are coming in, uh, in the market very soon in, in Europe? So what we're seeing with the new devices is a uh, decrease in the uh, vascular profile. Uh, we're seeing valves with improved ceiling skirts. We're seeing devices that are potentially recapturable, repositionable, and retrievable from the body. And I think all of these uh, improvements in devices lead to greater operator confidence, um, improve the learning curve, and of course, benefit the patient uh, dramatically. Mm -hmm. And uh, with these uh, remarkable results, um, 
Uh, can you confirm that transfemoral approach is the default uh, strategy and uh, in all the patients where anatomy is favorable? Yeah, I think that would be uh, correct, Ellen. You know, right now the Evolute R uh, has a French, 14 French equivalent sheath. The uh, Sapien 3 comes in a 14 French and 16 French expandable sheath. And we're seeing um, criteria for vascular access going down to 5 uh, millimeters, and some are also pushing the borders to 4.5 millimeters in the absence of calcification. So I do think in the future transfemoral TAVI will be the default strategy, and even today we can probably treat approximately about 85 to 95 percent of patients depending on which center um, you're working at. Yes, I agree totally. So I think before concluding, can you tell us what do you think about the future, the next five to ten years? What will be uh, the optimal treatment for the majority of patients with aortic stenosis? You know, g given the results from the randomized trials in high-risk patients and intermediate-risk patients that are going to come out very soon, um, from the Sertavi and Partner 2 trial. And also, uh, you know, we got a little glimpse into the Notion uh, results as well. Um, my feeling is that TAVI is going to be just as good as uh, surgical aortic valve replacement. And in the future, it's going to be the heart team uh, who is going to have to really decide what is uh, best for the patient uh, on an individual basis. Thank you very much.